Hello friends, welcome back. Want to confidently explain .NET Core middleware concepts in your next interview? So join us as we dive into five essential questions and provide concise explanation and helping you choose the right answer so you can articulate your knowledge effectively. So come, let's get started. So this is a website I have logged in and this is part of the previous full stack video we developed using .NET Core 9, Angular 19 and a lot of Azure services. So I'm going to go to the course, choose .NET and I'm going to focus only on the middleware. I'm going to focus only on the middleware. So you can come here, you can choose a practice mode that will be the best. And if you wanted to just write without the practice mode and check this and write it. Now, before I start the exam, what I wanted to show you was I wanted to brush up some important concepts. So this is the project that is the one that you are seeing in the website. So this is developed using .NET Core 9, a lot of, um, you know, web endpoints and it is based on clean architecture. Now. Let's talk about the middlewares. Okay, so in .NET Core, if you go to this program.cs, okay, there are two important things. Under the main, the first concept is called services. Okay, the first one is the services, second one is the middleware. Okay, services are nothing but you configure all of your uh, dependency injections. For example, whatever you're seeing here is a service. We configure the service, we configure our uh, dependency injection by saying okay add scoped which repos which instance has to be given when this is invoked like when this is requested so this is all called services now if you come down in even in your application right whenever you see builder.build and you name something like app it doesn't matter it, it can be any name but basically an instance of this after this whatever you do is called middlewares so imagine you have a water pipe. So let's take an example of this pipeline, right? So this is what pipe, a general water pipe. So the reason why I'm showing this is, imagine this is the uh, starting and end of the pipelines in the .NET code. So a request comes here, okay? It goes through the pipe, it doesn't go anywhere outside. It just goes through inside and then comes outside. Now the same request, right? When it is processed, it goes like this, goes in the reverse order, like this. Now, it's very important to know, pipelines are executed in the order it has been configured. So, it, for example, so here, right? So we are having everything is here as pipeline. So the first one in the pipeline is use cores. Second one is exception handling. And then we have some middleware pipeline. We have these many pipelines. So the reason why I said this, request will go through like this, Okay, and then comes back like this. Okay. The reason why the exception handling is in the second pipeline because after exception handling, if anything goes wrong in this code, this will catch. If this was after this, this will not catch because the error occurred before the pipeline itself. So that's very important to know how pipelines are working in .NET code. Now let's go back to the question. So the first question is, how can a middleware prevent a request from reaching the rest of the pipeline? It is saying, it is asking, how do you prevent it to go to the next one? So what you can do is you can actually, let's take a look at it. Set context of response equal to null. Don't register the next pipeline. That's wrong. You cannot avoid registering it. It has to register. Skip calling await.next. So this is the right answer. The reason is in the pipeline, in the middleware, right? If you, if you skip this line, it won't call the next one. That's what it is. So you should know what is pipeline. When do you use this context and how like one pipeline will hand over the request from one from its current to the next one. Similarly, all the stuff will go and handle over the next next pipeline. OK, so this is how you prevent. So you should understand what is uh, middleware and how pipelines are working. Next one. What is the purpose of middleware in the ASP.NET code? Again, like I already explained to you, each one has its own functionality. And it has to, um, you know, process the HTTP request and response. So answers should be processing HTTP request and response in a pipeline. And it also tells you what is the short answer for this. Middleware components from a pipeline that process incoming requests and outgoing response in ASP.NET Core. 
all right we have more details here if you can if you're interested you can go over here all right the next one is it's giving us a code and tell us what is the custom middleware which is the right one that describes a custom middleware the first one is incomplete second one is also incomplete third one looks correct because it has the middleware name it has all of the stuff um, including handing over to the next one you see this await next so this should be the right answer and it also says why it is right answer okay next one you need to log the time taken by each request what is the best way to do it in ASP.NET Core again we can write a custom middleware because if you see filter is not for that purpose logger is for logging but you cannot uh, you know uh, log the timings now let's take back this right so what happens is if let's say this is a custom middleware okay this is a custom middleware the request comes we start the timer it goes finishes takes like five seconds come back when it comes it will go through this when it goes through this we will stop the timer and log the timing so that way we can exactly calculate the time for a given request so if you want to see existing middleware see response body middleware response body middleware is after the response is being sent it will come here so like this you can create your custom um you know middleware to log the uh, request timings all right all right see this is how it measures globally okay last one why is the order of middleware important okay so why is this important i already explained you if the order is in the wrong way for example exception middleware that was in the second middleware right if the exception middleware is not in the second let's say here if this was kept here what will happen it will go through all the pipelines let's say there's an error here the exception middleware will not even handle that because exception happened before even it comes to that middleware so the order of the middleware is very important okay so here just to answer this based on the concept that we know first middleware handles all the requests middleware components are executed in the order they are registered that is why that is very important okay so it also says placing them correctly will process the request and response and its behavior changes if you do it incorrectly all right so these are you know some of the important concept especially for the um, microservices of especially for the middlewares and you can come here and check we can check the answer here you can come here you can go back and also check the uh, whatever you typed and it will also give you the description so in case if you want to refer something you can come here and refer and uh, that's how you you know understand and try to answer by yourself and i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video just hit that like button subscribe to my channel share this with your friends and social media so stay tuned and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos if you have any questions or suggestions leave them in the comments below happy coding